It's time to shift our attention to a mind-blowing development in the world of robotics. There is now a robot that can 3D print a wall. Here is more. The world of robotics has witnessed huge developments over the years. Robots can now walk, cook and even paint. In other words, robots are proving to be versatile, valuable and above all, fascinating. Look at this. ETH Zurich, a public research university in Switzerland, has developed a robot that can 3D print a wall, but with a twist. It is called impact printing. Instead of using a concrete mixture to form the walls, the robot uses locally sourced building site waste with a minimal amount of additives such as silt and clay to 3D print walls. Interestingly, the robot does not require form work or the mold that normally holds concrete in shape while 3D printing a wall. What we're doing is we're compacting material, uh, but without any form work and without, you know, these big molds that you would see in other processes. So we're kind of hybridizing two construction methods. On the one hand side, you have printing, uh, which has limitations in terms of speed. And on the other hand side, you have mold-based methods where you're compacting material into a mold. We're basically shooting the material with a high velocity and compacting it um, into the previous layers on, on impact. So how does the technology work? The robot shoots lumps of building material downwards at a speed of 10 meters per second. Lumps bond together on impact and gradually form a wall. The impact printing technique not only helps save time and money, but is also good for the environment. Unlike traditional 3D printing, there is no need to wait for the previous layer to dry before the next can be applied, allowing for more efficient construction. Moreover, the process is designed to make sustainable building materials more cost competitive. But we really believe that if we have this nice balance, so you have a material very load, load bearing, but also workable, uh, you can enable, you know, processing, you can enable kind of detailing. Whereas with normal 3D printing, it um, has this very narrow window where it immediately kind of sets, which means that you have this, um, these undulations in normal 3D printing that can't be fixed later. Whereas ours has this longer window of workability. So far, the robot has been used successfully to build structures as tall as 3 meters high. This concept might seem like science fiction. The fact is that it is being actively explored.